Hi, my name is Mariki Salia and I am a full-time practicing clinical optometrist in private practice. Over the years, I have realized the value of digital photography and a decent slit lab in my practice, both for educating my patient and also for uh, record keeping purposes. Digital photography has come a long way over the last few years and it's been a kind of a search of mine to find a slit lamp that can actually give me the quality that I need. I've realized this when I was publishing my books and trying to get a photograph in a good enough quality for publication. And you never know where life might take you. So you want to have a decent camera that can give you a high quality photograph so that you can do with that whatever you want at a later stage. Also, it's amazing for record keeping and when you have a, a case in your office, it's great to have photography so that you can compare whether there's actually improvement in this patient's uh, situation. So today I want to show you and I want to introduce you to the MediWorks slit lamp. One of the slit lamps on the market that includes one of the best features at a reasonable price. Right, so let's start at the base. The slit lamp has a sensor in the base that picks up the right and the left side of the patient automatically. So when you're doing a, a, a consult and you move the slit lamp over to the left, on the software it'll automatically label the left eye for you. This saves a lot of time for you not to go and sort out photographs and doesn't get you confused in the long run. Also on the base it includes the light source which you can control the amount of light going through as well as the capture button on the base. It is no longer on the remote but close enough so that you do not lose momentum. We move over to the beam splitter. The beam splitter is a high resolution 5 megapixel camera which is probably one of the best on the market. Slit lamps normally have about a 2 megapixel camera and this really gives you a high quality photograph. Then the other thing on the beam splitter which I think is next level is you have a f-stop which controls your depth of focus or your photographs. So how this works is if you have a small aperture you have an increased depth of focus. So in practice what this means is that you can both have the corneal surface in focus as well as the conjunctiva or the, the scleral side and the lids in one photograph. This is something I battled with a lot when I'm doing my photographs and sometimes you just want an overall photo but now you've got to do two or three separate photographs to get your depth right. So on the f-stop you have higher numbers, the higher numbers make for a smaller aperture and then the lower numbers open up your aperture. A bigger aperture gives you a shorter or a shallower depth of focus and you can really zoom into that little detail and get a nice good photo on that. Moving on to the magnification. This slit lamp has five different magnification levels from a six times to a 40 times mag. You're not going to need much more than that. Moving over to the filters. On the filters, there's a, there's a nice filter called the polarized filter. Now, the polarized filter is amazing for cutting out glare. And that is something you'll use when you're doing something like retinal lenses, for instance, because you will find when you're doing retinal lenses, there's a lot of reflection coming off of your lens. And the polarized filter will cut that out so that you can get a decent retinal view. Other filters that are included are your green filter, which is your red-free filter, meant for blood vessel viewing, both anteriorly and posteriorly as well as your blue cobalt filter for your fluorescein stain. This slit lamp has also got a rattan filter included. Now, for me personally, I think you must always have a slit lamp with a rattan filter. I no longer do fluorescein staining under blue filter um, alone. I always use my rattan. Rattan gives a little bit of a yellow over the blue and it just enhances the stain that you're busy looking at. It really makes it easier to see. Okay. Then we move over to the light source. The slit lamp has an LED light source. LED light runs firstly cooler and secondly, because there's no bulb, it never has to be replaced. Also, you have an external light source. The external light source is managed or controlled from the software and a lot of times you just want to have a little bit of background illumination but also have control over your beam and then you will actually activate your um, external light source. If you just want a broad light across the eye, then what you do is you just pop up your diffuser. A diffuser is there to, in, to take the beam and actually just make the light a little bit more diffuse and it gives you lighting across the full surface of the front of the eye. And then you carry on and just close up your diffuser again and you can just carry on from there. And then lastly, the most amazing feature I believe on the slit lamp is the extra light source, the infrared light source that is added to the slit lamp, which means that you can actually do your meibomian gland infrared scan straight from your slit lamp. Again, it's, it's controlled from your software. You just click a switch, it flips over to your infrared light source. You can just divert the lid and do your meibomian scans right away.
And to crown it all off, MediWorks has just launched their platform for comprehensive ocular surface examination. This is a software system that includes tests like your non-invasive TBAT, your tear meniscus height, your lipid layer assessment and even lid assessment and fluorescein staining and what's great is it also grades it for you on this software so you can actually put everything together grade it all and then have a decent and a thorough um, dry eye workup um, that you can actually do straight off the software of this slit lamp. I really suggest this slit lamp to anyone who wants to look at buying a digital slit lamp it's fantastic and you will not be sorry.